Hello Internet, my name is S.A.R. Mortinian, and welcome to Shenanigans, the weekly vlog where I talk about my week and the things that I do and my life and etc. So, this week, big events. Uh, well, honestly, the primary event is that I have been training for my new job at, at the Olive Garden. It is quite fancy and Italian. Um, but yeah, so I've been training for that. They've been running me pretty good, running me pretty hard, but I'm, uh, I'm now fully trained and Oh, victorious there I gotta tell you I, they had me run in place yesterday and my like the entire left side of my body is just in pain it's it's not running food is not the fun shift let's let's put it that way <laughs> so I realize that this is a day late and I'm sorry about that but they uh I just couldn't fit in a normal Saturday night uh shenanigans with the schedule I had this week as it, should, it will be better in future weeks just not you know not for this week um, but on the good news in gaming news uh, The Wolf Among Us episode 5 the final chapter the uh, release date has been announced which is unusual normally they just kind of like don't tell you at all and then just magically you get an update one day and everyone's like oh I, Wolf Among Us is out this is awesome but uh, no it's it's going to be July 8th so uh, two days from now this Tuesday um Wolf Among Us is coming coming to your doorstep on Tuesday. I'm going to start filming it, and hopefully I'll have my first episode up by Wednesday, and everything will be glory, glory, happy, fun time. Um, let's see what else. Oh well, July Fourth happened. That was that was last Friday. That was fun. Lots of fireworks. Lots of murka. Lots of lots of gloriousness. I I mean I can't complain. You know, July Fourth. Um, I didn't really do much of anything. I just kind of stayed around the house. Uh, but uh, my last roommate came in. Uh, Randroth, I believe, is his screen name. I'm going to call him by that until he tells me another name to call him that he'd like me he'd like me to use on the interwebs. So Randroth is now also living here with myself and Tree God, and he is not part of SAR yet. I also don't know if he'd like want to make those kind of videos that we do or even if he wants to make videos but he's a cool guy nonetheless I'm sure we'll have a shenanigans with friends with him relatively soon um bah. sleep sleep is a weird thing so I don't know about y'all but like there, I'm finding that there's like this magic temperature to my sleep that makes it good or bad um, like it, it's like a five degree range and if I just get out of it I do not sleep as well and it's really weird but on the flip side of that when I sleep in the correct range I have dreams about like fighting awesome glorious battles and being a champion and and winning and getting the girl and everything's wonderful and then I wake up totally rested after only six hours of sleep I have no idea what that is it might just be because I was really tired so I mean tonight I might get, I might get the same deal tonight which would be you know be nice, but um, yeah I've actually after this I've got tons of clothes well you can see them there on my bed I've got big load of clothes I need to fold and put into drawers and then after that I actually have to attack my work clothes and iron them and uh, hang them up and it will be glorious it's, nah, nah. but anyway if y'all want to see me in the real world at some point and for the next until I am no longer working there you can visit the Olive Garden in Lexington Kentucky why do I say the Olive Garden in Lexington Kentucky because there's only one there is precisely one in Lexington Kentucky in fact I think it's the only one in Fayette County we're gonna go on an adventure everyone oh I don't want that search don't autofill location we're going to find out if there are any others. No. There is another one in this county, but it's in Richmond, which is further south. The Olive Garden in Lexington. I work there now. I'm a server. You can ask for me by name, and I will serve you. I will serve you with wonderful happiness, and then you'll give me an awesome tip because you love me. See how this works? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <sighs> Fun, fun, fun. Let's see, beyond that, Loot Crate is uh, the July Loot Crate will actually be coming to this apartment. 
uh, this month instead of shooting to my parents' house again, so uh, that video will be up on time rather than... <sighs> rather than many days late. And, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Canada. Canada is a fun country. Um, Canada Day was this week, if I recall correctly, like Wednesday or something. It was a it was weird day. And I... Is Canada Day, like, Canada's version of July 4th? I'm doing, like, so much research on this shenanigans, and you're just gonna, you're gonna love it. It'll be great. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn things together. Okay, it's the National Day of Canada, and it's the anniversary of the enactment of the British North America Act, which united three colonies into a single colony called Canada. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's basically their Independence Day, except it's not independence, it's uniting to be part of the British Empire. But, I mean, you know, still, it's it's similar. Similar concept. <laughs> Just not quite as much freedom in the execution. Because they're, you know, being like, yeah, we want a king. It's weird. Canada's weird. Monarchies are weird. I don't understand how we still have them. In England, I mean, it's... And at this point, the, you know, the Queen is... It's totally a figurehead. I haven't heard of her doing anything significant in terms of politics in a long time. And I don't think the royal family would dare to interfere with Parliament um, at this point. It's, it's like a weird celebrity kind of thing. I, I don't understand how the aristocracy and the monarchy survives continuously in, in England. It's just... It's very strange to me. Maybe that's just me. I'm sure someone from England would think it's strange that we don't have an aristocracy and a monarchy. Ooh, almost. I keep almost falling out of my chair today. It's, it's just one of those things. I mean, what are you going to do? I'll get better at it. Uh, speaking of that, though, uh, falling out of my chair, that is, I was... I continued to fall out of my chair today while I was... Uh, filming more uh, Murder and The Hidden, which I'm in actually in the middle of uploading in the background. So I've got lots of content bringing to y'all uh, between this and uh, Wolf Among Us Episode 5, which will be coming out uh, hopefully starting this Wednesday. Um, I should be good. I, I should have nice continuous content. shouldn't be scrambling or hurrying to put stuff together. Uh, another RimWorld came out another version of RimWorld came out, but I decided to skip this version just because the update was so close and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna wait until some significant changes to RimWorld are made so that I can pop in on that, check that out, play it, and just give you guys a bit of a break from it. Um, on top of that I'm also starting to think about doing another Kerbal series, not a Castle one where I go through research stuff, uh, although I do need to cap that one off really quick. Shouldn't be hard. But um, but no, a, a series on kind of like instructional videos on how to play Kerbal Space Program because I know a lot of my friends and the people who watch this, uh, my, my channel, enjoy the idea of Kerbal Space Program and they, th they think it'd be fun and they know I have an absurd amount of fun with it. I'm up over 450 hours on Kerbal Space Program now because I'm, I'm an uber nerd. Super uber nerd. It's bad. It's really bad. But regardless, um, but one of the biggest things that's keeping them, kind of keeping people from playing Kerbal Space Program is that they don't really understand how to build the rockets, how to build planes, how to build space planes, um, better ways to hit different planets in various orbits, like all sorts of things. They just, it's not a, it's not knowledge that they have, and it's taken me, well, I mean, at this point, 450 hours to gather up this knowledge both from into why well, it's more than 450 hours because I've done independent research outside of Kerbal trying to um, trying to find out these things and how I can improve stuff so you could probably you could probably add it up to about 500 hours I've got about 500 hours of work in Kerbal trying to make myself better at it and I I can I can offer that experience to everyone and I think that might be cool it'll let people let people play Kerbal Space Program and get started in their path towards scientific glory. The glory of science. Yes. 
Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe. Use all your social media shenanigans. Definitely leave a comment down below. Like if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. But come on, we all know you liked it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have watched it. And uh, I love your face. My name is S.A.R. Mortinian, and I'll see you next week.